welcome back to Love Your Parent. Guess what we're doing today? <laughs> Are you super excited? I'm super excited. No. I'm super excited. No. I'm super excited. We have exciting news today. We are going to a lady's house here in Texas. She has a Congo African Grey that needs a home. This Congo African Grey, his name is Mikey, which is so adorable. They do have a pretty decent cage for him, so we're going to take the cage also, and that will be good for him. He can stay in his comfortable environment. The family just inherited the Congo African Grey Mikey when the mother passed away suddenly a month ago. So they reached out to us, we had them fill out an application. I'm not gonna be filming inside their home for privacy reasons. So stay tuned and I will show you what happens when Mikey comes home to live with us for his forever home. Okay, let's go. Mikey, what do you think? Are you gonna come home with us? Oh my gosh, guys, he's super cute, very sweet. We can't wait to get him home. Hi, buddy. <laughs> what do you have to say? You got funny noises already, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, mom, we have to teach him to say stinker. You little That'd stinker? Oh my gosh, oh, we love you so much already. Okay, the cool thing is, so he's going to be quarantined. We're quarantining Mikey, quarantining, quarantining Mikey for 14 days. Oh, okay. That's y'all when you have birds, you get pooped on. We got to get the paper towels. So we're going to quarantine Mikey for 14 days in our bedroom, in our home. He's got a really nice cage that he came with. We uh, stopped and picked up some new fun toys. Lots of new fun treats and foods that I'm sure he's going to be introduced to with him in our care now. He had a great home, loved the people, and they were so gracious that we are able to give him a forever home. And a lot of times with the Congo African Greys, sometimes they just really only like certain people and he seems to just be sweet with everyone he's got all his feathers don't have to worry about any plucking with you right now i guess i should probably pick up that bird poop that you just did on my leg surprisingly it actually is just staying there which is good thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe like this video, comment below, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss our videos. We're gonna have so many updated videos with Mikey. Um, he is fully flighted, as you can see. So at some point, uh, we probably will just trim him a little. Obviously, he is a flyer because he was found in a yard and they could never locate the owner, sadly. He has no bands no bands okay. on his legs so anyway you ready to go get this party started we have a cage to put together it's back there's his cage he is on a seed diet so what i'm going to do is i have the safflower seed diet so the plan is what it always is we will convert him to a mainly natural pellet diet eventually and lots of fruits and veggies uh, until then obviously we want to keep him comfortable right away i will introduce the pellets to him and see if he picks up on it right away and wants to chow that up uh, the safflower 
seeds are going to be much healthier than just the basic standard sunflower seed mix. All right, again, guys, push that notification bell so that you don't miss this. Mikey is going to be in a lot of videos, aren't you? I will track his progress, let you guys all know how he's doing. Don't forget to check out Instagram at Love Your Parrot and Facebook at Love Your Parrot. We also have a Texas Parrot Rescue page. Be sure to visit us, push like, show that support, message me if you have any questions about parrots or anything that you want me to know about your bird. If you need any help, I am always here to help you guys. Let's clean up this poop. Did you poopies? Okay. So here is the cage for Mikey. Um, it looks pretty good. They cleaned it up. I'm going to be disinfecting it, power washing it, guys. Got to do my power washing. <laughs> it's in, in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of, actually, I guess just a little wear and tear on the wheels. All right, so let's get this down. And then we want to be gentle on the wheels because the wheels can definitely break off. liked to be on this perch when he's eating. Um, I'm taking it out. He'll still, we're going to put some equine tape on this one. I personally don't like the dowels like this. keep this one for now and put some equine tape on it this perch down here we're gonna take that out and this one because I've got some new ones I'm gonna put in a rope one to help him climb around his toys uh, we'll, we have new toys for him so I'll probably take these out for sure get him a new setup New home, new setup, new toys, all the fun shebang. Let's get this though. No, I am going to keep this though. I'm going to keep this for Boo, my Amazon, who bites me. This will be nice for him to step up on. I've got a couple other ones. to the yard we're gonna disinfect it put it in your bedroom for his 14 day quarantine he's still gonna be able to be out with us we're just not going to have him with our other birds now let's lift it up until you get to the driveway actually if you can just lift it for as far as you can I really hate to drag these wheels girl power Mikey all right, guys, I'm doing this quick video before we put him in his quarantine. He's checking out the new environment. Look at how beautiful Mikey is. So far, he has said, hey, he's done raspberry noises, burping noises. He has meowed like a cat. What else did he do? Oh, he whistled. Uh, they said he says quack, quack, quack. What you looking at? 